All right, guys, so for the first order of business, I am going to be removing the headlight caps on both sides here. And the easiest way that I have found is just remove these panels here. They will come off very, very easy, like so. And then And there, and there you will have direct access to um, releasing the three little clips inside. So let's go ahead and do that. So I just stick my hand in there. And go one, two, and three. Give a little push. And there she goes. So now I got some additional ventilation and cooling in the front there. And then the same for here. And as I focus here, you can see directly into the filter. You can see the filter from here. So um, this would be a nice addition for cooler air until I officially get the duct for the front of the intake there. And then to put the panel back in place, it's just as easy. You got two little things there. You tuck this in here. You find the holes. And you just put those back in, push it down, clip it back in front of here, and you're good. So that's all of a 30 second project, which is really nice and easy. Um, this would be a nice addition for cooler air until I officially get the duct for the front of the intake there. But for now, um, I'm going to be just as happy with the cooler air going into the general area because the top of the hood does not seal on top of the shaker intake. So I'm thinking just a general bit of cool air into the area right now will be more beneficial than to actually get the headlight duct so that's kind of my first order of business here with the shaker and then after that I'm going to be doing the skip shift eliminator and then at some point here I'll get the oil catch can and I will definitely at some point get 180 degree thermostat. So just the start of a couple quick, easy, inexpensive mods. So that's kind of the plan of attack for now. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, and comment. Thanks for watching, guys.